Okay, it's just a little tricky um, creating a dormer step by step. This is actually a bit tricky, but uh, it's not insurmountable. So let's uh, do a quick, uh, a quick building. Make it sixty by sixty. Put a roof on it. Oop, I'm on a, a dormer level. I created four levels. Let me bring this down to uh, level one. Okay. Now I'm going to create a, uh, a roof on level three. I'm going to create a roof on level three. Roof by footprints on level three. I'm going to pick, I'm going to say, do right in 3D. Pick this one, this one, this one, this one. I'm sure it's on the outer edge, it is. Um, and just let it define the slope that way. All right, we have that roof. Um, grab that. Grab all these walls. Attach top base to the roof. I was attached to a miss. Okay. Top constraint. Level three. All right, so. We have this roof, and we have these walls, and it doesn't, I don't like the way it's not extending to the outside, um, but um, it's the footprint. Let me fix that. Let's just do it like that. All right, so we have this basic roof, and we're going to create a dormer. So um, approximately in the position indicated on level two, create the floor walls of a dormer, four walls of a dormer. Set their height to value that makes them extend beyond the roof. So from the second floor, yeah, let's do it from level three. From level three, in the approximate location, let me just do a... Uh, All right, so this, from this location here, I'm going to create uh, a, a small dormer. So I'm gonna go over here and create four walls. And they have that 20 foot height, which uh, as you can see is a little tricky. Let me just close that, WT, ZA, and Okay, so that's good for now. Let's create a roof now on top of the walls. So uh, set their height to a value that makes them extend above the roof. For easy verification, create a cross section through the dormer to check the height of the dormer walls, and if necessary, modify their height in the properties palette so that they extend above the roof. Using the roof by footprint tool, create a pitched roof on top of the dormer walls. So we're gonna create a pitched roof, roof by footprint. Um, and we're going to go to level three. And we're going to pick these walls. Make sure it's the outer wall. And what's going to define the slope is... We're going to select this one. That's going to define... That's not going to define the slope. And this one is not going to define the slope. These two are. So let's do that. Attach. And where did I put it? Okay, let's just trade this up a little bit. All right, so let's just draw a section. Hold on, this is a lot of... Hold on a second. Give me a second to get this right. Make sure this is uh, not cut off at the top. No, it's not. It's just really pitched. It's really pitched. All right, so let me just create a section view. <laughs> Do it. 
you. WTZA. Title of use. Now, if we, uh, if we move this stormer down, you see how it unjoins. So if we move the walls down, constrained to level three so if we were to just move the wolf the, the the roof down join the highlight wall to the highlight on it removes the wall's top below its bottom so we can't do it like that hold on this is a lot easier when i did it by myself and now i have to do it live and it's different all right so uh I'm not too happy with its pitch. That's what the thing is. 912. That's what's killing us here. All right, that's a little, <laughs> had me a little goofy there for a second. All right, let's see if I can, yeah, if I move the roof down now, you can see it moves down with it. The wall's constrained to it. Okay, so I'm back to where I want to be. So we have this little dormer here, but um, if you notice, it doesn't extend to the roof, to the main roof. So We've created the roof by footprint for the dormer. Now, if you switch to a site elevation view, you'll notice that the dormer roof does not extend to meet the main roof, so you'll need to use the Join Unjoin Roof tool located in the Modify tab in the Edit Geometry panel to join the main roof and the dormer. Select the Join Unjoin Roof tool, select the main roof as the target, and then select the edge of the dormer roof to extend it. So if we were to go to the Modify tab, to this little tool here, Join unjoin roof connects roofs to other roofs or walls or reverses a previous join. Use the join roof tool when you want to add smaller roofs to create dormers or awnings for existing roofs and walls. So if I was to then come back into let's see if I can go into this view. Oops, you gotta be in the command and in the view at the same time. Maybe in this view. Select an edge at the end of the roof that you wish to join or unjoin. Well, I want to join this one. So I had it before. Uh, that's in section. But if I went to the south elevation, if I pick it from the south, or I have to pick it from the 3D view. Let's see. I'm not getting any... Uh, Getting any edge. Let's see if I can do it this way first. Hmm. Just when things are going good, it doesn't work. I had it before. Select an edge at the end of the roof that you wish to join. Well, I wish to join this edge. Select the face on another roof or wall to which you want the first roof to be joined. Well, I want this bit to join that way, and it ain't working. Worked before. There it is. Okay, so I selected the edge of the dormer, any edge, and then I selected the pitch of the roof, and it worked there. So select the edge where you want it joined. Well, there's the basic roof edge. And then there's the edge I wanted to join to. And sure enough, it did. All right, so that doesn't, that doesn't finish what we have to do. It gets, a little, it gets more tricky. All right, so we've got that done. But now from the opening panel in the architectural tab, select dormer. Now pick first the main roof and then the dormer roof. And then select the sides of the walls that define the dormer. 
Select the inside faces of the walls. Unlike most sketches, you will not need to provide a closed loop of lines in this case. Finish the door opening, the uh, dormer opening. And this can be a little tricky, so let's try to do it from level three. All right, so um, let me double check my, uh, this is my uh, section line here. All right, good. All right, we want to see uh, a hole in the roof now. So if we go to the uh, architectural tab, dormer, in the opening panel, cuts a roof to create an opening for a dormer. For a dormer opening, both vertical and horizontal cuts are made in the roof. So, select the roof to be cut by the dormer opening. Well, this roof. Now, pick a joined roof, a side face of a wall, or a joined face at the roof to determine dormer boundary. Well, if I pick that, It gives me these two lines. Now it says, uh, pick roof wall edges. Now, I picked it and I got these lines. So, if I was to then hit that line and the exterior of these lines, I didn't get it. Hold on. Let's try that again. This was, it was so tricky, I got it the first time. So pick the roof of the one you want to cut, and then the side. Hold on. So we have that, and then I believe, could have sworn I picked these lines. Now they're not, it says there might be closed loops, but if you look, they aren't in closed loops and it got an error. Let's close them. Let's see if we get it now. All right, so, uh, we got cut, but I don't think we got the cut the way we want. Let's take a, a look at this. And now let's, we have this section. Let's, let's take this section, this is 3D view, and orientate it to the section that we cut. Let's shave this puppy out and take a look. Now if we were to manipulate this section box, get a better idea. So indeed, we did cut, we did cut the roof. <clears throat> There's a hole in the roof, which is good. Right? So I was to delete these walls, you can see. If I was to uh, bring this out like that, you can see there is indeed a hole in the roof. Let's, and let's investigate, and it goes all the way back to the edge of the dormer, which is what we want. All right, so let me undo those deletions because we ain't done yet. We ain't done yet. We still have to clean this up. And I, uh, this is like my third take on this. This wasn't easy. Get that one back in there. All right, so we still have some, uh, the, the walls are a problem. Um, if we look, let's look at the south view and let's go into a wireframe. These walls, these walls, uh, we have to edit the profile. We're gonna have to edit the profile of this because it says, um, finally go back to the section view you previously created and edit the elevation profile of the side walls to make sure they do not extend below or above the roofs. And this is a certification objective. You should not use the top base attach tool for tricky modeling scenarios such as the roof dormer, as the attachment may fail. Instead, select the wall and use the edit profile tool available in the mode panel of the modify walls tab to edit the elevation profile, manually resketch the edge lines of the walls to get their triangular elevation profile. So that's what we'll do. Basically what it's saying is that we have to go to the wall. We have this one selected, right? If we go to the section, 
with a wireframe. move this back there okay so if we select that wall we're going to be editing its profile right so as you can see that's the profile of it now but we uh, we delete that we could bring this uh, profile up to here bring this Profile up to here. Wait, wait, wait. We can get it right there if we want. Right there. We got this one. Right there. We create another line. Right here to complete the triangle. Now this wall is now edited. So that if you look at it, 3D, it's... Uh, perfect triangle with the roof now you have to do the same thing for the other uh, the other profiles right you have to do the same thing for this profile the same thing for that profile but you get the point that's basically how you do a dormer and you can do any, any shape you want um, and it'll help you when you're uh, laying out your roof you don't have to uh, orthographically project all these lines and elevation and plan like they do in AutoCAD. It, it, it expedites the process. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to stop this one and uh, move on to the next subject.